Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Taurus. How are you? I want to wish you guys a very happy Hallows Eve. I hope you guys are staying safe. Let's see what's going on. All right. Taurus, there's a situation you don't want to deal with. You don't want to see. Um, you have the Six of Swords moving forward, being able to go towards calmer waters. I see you guys fo focused in career-wise. Uh, for some of you guys, this could be either affecting your relationship. Uh, for others, especially those of you guys that are single, I see you guys very committed to the cause. Uh, this could be, again, focusing in your career, focusing in... Uh, for some of you guys, even going back to school or, uh, you know, if you are currently in school, it could be like taking up a lot of that time to focus on your aspirations and what you're trying to achieve. I see you guys very motivated here. Uh, but with the Two of Swords, I do see a refusal of some sort. Okay. Okay. So we have the Six of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. All right. So you guys are constantly thinking or wondering about a person that you were communicating with. Perhaps in the past, you're no longer communicating with them now. The Two of Swords does speak about wanting to uh, reach out, wanting to... I feel you guys focus career finances, but I think that love has taken a backseat for some of you. And what they're saying here is, yes, it's absolutely positive to be focused. I feel that for a lot of you Taurus, your career is going to skyrocket. Or anything that has to do with your pursuits and trying to achieve certain things. Remember, we have Rahu in your sign now. So again, uh, Rahu brings a lot of blessings, a lot of opportunities. But when it comes to love, I see you guys being stubborn or stuck in not wanting to do things or approach romance in a different aspect. So this could be not wanting to go out of your way. This could be being in your comfort zone, uh, especially those of you guys that are single. It's like you have this routine and you just don't want to get out of the routine. But planet alignments with everything that's going on astrologically, you got to do that change. Even if it means like putting your pride aside and reaching out, I see you guys interested in a specific person. For some of you guys, you were dealing with this person, getting to know them, but it didn't take off. It didn't take flight. Um, and I see you guys very stuck in the mud, kind of. So for some of you guys, it could be that uh, you just want them to be the one to reach out. Perhaps you're waiting for them uh, to give you the green light. But what they're telling you is you need to be more assertive, Taurus. You need to believe more in yourself. Uh, be more aggressive when it comes to uh, love, especially now all the way to the beginning of November. Um, sometimes it's necessary for us to take risks. And I see you guys as like not risk takers. Um, and it could be pride. It could be just feeling like, well, you know, uh, they have to prove to me that they're interested in me in order for me to, you know, reciprocate. Um, but sometimes... You know, we forget that other people are experiencing different things or have experienced different things in past relationships. So sometimes they're expecting the same. So if you have two people that have been hurt in the past and they're wanting that the person they're dealing with to show them, then you're going to be just stuck there waiting, right? Because both of you guys are feeling that type of way. It's very challenging type of energy. But what they're saying is you need to be more aggressive in your approach to love and romance. This means, yes, Taurus, getting out of your house. This means, um, for some of you guys, if you have a specific routine, as an example, if on your day off you like to just chill and relax, have a couple of drinks, maybe it's time you stop doing that. Maybe it's time you go out um, or be more proactive in changing some routine to bring some spontaneity into your life um, that is going to give you the opportunity to connect with someone that is walking towards you but i also do see people from your past lingering or wanting to communicate you may already be experiencing this so don't be surprised if you start to see people coming out of the woodwork uh trying to reach out trying to see what's going on in your life um 
we are dealing with a lot of people from the past. Uh, it doesn't mean that it's giving you the opportunity to rekindle or reconnect something. It just means mend the fences and move on from that Taurus. Especially if you're stuck in a situation where uh, you're not happy in a relationship or you don't feel like your partner is doing enough. Um, there is a feeling of being extremely motivated and focused. Uh, this could be vice versa because it is a general reading. So this could be your partner being very, you know, busy with work and stuff that they kind of forgotten to romance the relationship. And this is necessary. You need to nurture it. Um, but again, I feel that what they're saying is you got to shake things up, Taurus. You got to take some, you got to take some chances. Um, and get out of your comfort zone because only then are you going to be able to embrace uh, this cycle that's coming up in your life. And again, like I said, there's a couple of signs that are going to be very transformative for the remaining of the year. And you're one of them, Taurus. So again, uh, if you're ready for love, you know, open your heart up, open your mind, step out of your comfort zone, take on new challenges, take on new opportunities. If a friend invites you, I don't know, somewhere social, somewhere you don't really want to go and you're like, no, I'll think about it. Uh, don't jump on that opportunity because I see a connection coming through, but this connection comes through um, outside of your comfort zone. So again, uh, this could be meeting a person that is introduced to you by other friends. This could be a person that for some it could be a person that's not even local. So it could be that they're visiting. It could be that they're on vacation, uh, where you live, uh, and that's where the connection happens. But again, you got to kind of pull out of your home <laughs> is what they're saying. Now, I know, be safe. It's very important right now. Um, but don't get very accustomed to just staying home or being a bit antisocial because you guys are going to be getting definitely a lot of attention. And like I said, I do see people from the past coming back around, but I also do see new opportunities coming through for you in regards to love and romance. But you kind of have to go out and get it, you know. Um, and again, with the Six of Wands, it's a lot of attention. It's people really vibrating to you, vibing to you. Um, and again, Rahu brings blessings, unexpected blessings as well. Uh, it brings opportunities. Um, so again, it's the time to make changes. We have Ketu in Scorpio. So it's transformative type of energy. It also speaks about removing or ending certain toxic behaviors about ourselves. Um, coming to the realization that, yeah, you're comfortable and you're, you know, uh, just comfortable being in your safe haven or whatever is considered, uh, your comfort zone. But you have your days where you're thinking about a relationship or wanting some type of connection. You can achieve that when you're pushing people away or when you're waiting for them to reach out because your pride is a little bit hurt. Maybe because the past couple of times that you've communicated with them, it's been you reaching out. What they're telling you is now is the time to take chances in regards to love. All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Um, yeah, take life is short, you guys. Life is short, and sometimes being stuck on a certain mentality or being a certain way sometimes it's not ideal. And what they're telling you here is that you need to embrace these new beginnings and these blessings that are coming your way. And yes, even sometimes mingle out of your comfort zone because that's what's going to create those changes. All right. All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope it gives you some type of insight and we'll see each other soon. Till then. Bye.